Fiorella lives in Bologna. She's seen hard times and lived on the streets. Today, she's back in work with a roof over her head. Cecile and Gaëlle are photographers. They were able to build their studio in the French countryside thanks to the high-speed internet that's just been installed in the region. Eric is a farmer on the island of Samso, a resolutely independent island off the shore of Denmark. He sells the straw he produces to supply a collective heating system for two villages on the island. Eduardas lives in Vilnius. At 65, he's discovered computers and the internet. All of them, sometimes without being aware of it, have participated in one of the thousands of projects co-financed each year by European Cohesion Policy. The EU works with national, regional and local partners to deliver development programs on the ground in the 271 regions of the Union. Co-financing is an important principle of the policy. Co-financing creates ownership. Uh, so, and it's important uh, that we have this ownership idea on the ground uh, for the people and uh, to, to give them also a feeling that their own money is involved. And I think this can also contribute not only to a stronger commitment, but also to a much better quality of the projects. Regional policy has had a proven effect in helping the European Union's regions to develop. It has boosted the economy of poor regions by 10% and created 1.4 million jobs across the EU. But there are still significant economic and social differences between regions. For example, the labor productivity of inner London accounts for 296% of the EU average, while the region of northeastern Poland still has less than 45% of average European productivity. The same is true for youth unemployment, which is less than 3.5% in the Czech region of Prague and nearly 28% in the Italian region of Sicily. With a new 10-year economic strategy, regional policy can become an important instrument to support smart, sustainable and inclusive growth. One good example of this can be seen in Wales, in a local company highly specialized in innovative technologies. They produce specific links, which conduct electricity and are used as the basis for manufacturing flexible electronic circuits and intelligent packaging. There are numerous small businesses like this in Wales, notably in the printing sector, which represents 28,000 employees spread over a thousand companies. It's too costly for these companies to invest in research and development. Hence the DIPL project at the University of Swansea, which is co-financed by the European Union's regional policy and Wales. The DIPL project is very important to us because it allows us to use facilities that we couldn't afford ourselves so that we can use very expensive equipment and it means that we can get into new areas of technology. After Swansea, we go to Vienna and the Danube, where Marcus is head of the Nevada project to develop transnational cooperation and sustainable transport at the heart of Europe. So Nevada has zum Ziel, the Zusammenarbeit der Wasserstraßenverwaltungen zu verbessern und zu stärken. Die Binnenschifffahrt als kosteffizienten und umweltfreundlichen Verkehrsträger darzustellen und Stakeholder zusammenzubringen, die Bezug zur Binnenschifffahrt haben. The Danube should be a vital axis of circulation between the east and the west of Europe. Yet today, only 10% of its capacity is exploited. The aim of this project is to increase that use. Eight countries in the region have become involved. To encourage and facilitate river traffic, access to navigable waterways and infrastructure will be improved and a means of communication will be developed. Mit unseren Nevada-Partnern äh, versuchen wir in einer Aktivität ähm, die elektronischen Navigationskarten zu verbessern. Hauptziel Nummer eins ist, den gemeinsamen Grenzbereich abzustimmen. Und das Hauptziel Nummer zwei ist, äh, dass die Nevada-Partner den gleichen Standard äh, verwenden. Investing in innovation and sustainable growth goes hand in hand with investing in people. That's why the European Cohesion Policy supports projects which promote employment and social inclusion. Now let's head for Prague, the capital and largest city of the Czech Republic. In economic growth, business and innovation, the city ranks among Europe's best performing regions. But there are still many people who have gone through difficult times and whose lives would benefit from receiving the right support. 
The Czech NGO, Association for Probation and Mediation and Justice, co-funded by the European Social Fund, helps people with social problems reintegrate into society. This was the case for ex-prisoner Miroslav, who was unemployed and falling into debt. Thanks to this project, he now has a job, a place to live and hope for the future. Jsme rádi, že Združení pro probaci a mediaci v justici díky podpoře z Evropského sociálního fondu může pomáhat takovým lidem, jako je pan Miroslav, najít si práci, najít si bydlení, řešit svoje problémy s dluhy. To deliver even better results in the future, European cohesion policy must become more targeted and result-oriented. But it will still remain an important tool for solidarity, available to all regions. If we want to implement EU 2020 strategy in Europe, we have to cover all the regions. And indeed, it's necessary that even so-called rich regions have to adapt their infrastructure, their uh, performance to the new challenges.